Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'll be continuing the mattress series. The first video talked about addition and subtraction and in this video I'll talk about the two main concepts of the mattresses which is the transpose of a matrix and the determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix. These concepts are actually very, very simple, not very simple but they're not complicated. That's why I decided to make one video for both of them. First, I'll talk about the transpose of a matrix. The transpose of a matrix basically means that we interchange the rows and columns. I'll explain you what, how we do that. And the second thing you, you're supposed to know is that it is indicated by a subscript T on the, on the matrix. So if you have a matrix A, which is A, B, C, D, and I'm supposed to show the transpose, I'll put a small T, a subscript T. Okay, now how will I find the uh, transpose and what do I mean by interchange the rows and columns? L let's see this. For this matrix, this is my first row and this is my second row. And here it's my first column and this is my second column. Now what I'll do for the transpose, I will take the first row and make it the first column. So it will be A, B. And I'll take the second row and make it the second column. So this, this will be my answer. Now let's take an example, just to get a better idea about this concept. I'll take a bigger matrix, a matrix with bigger dimensions, for example, 1, 8, 3, 2, 9, 5, 6, 10, 11. For example, this matrix is my B matrix and I'm supposed and I'm asked to find the transpose of this matrix. How will I do that? Now this matrix, you can see here it has one row, second row and third row. What I'll do, I'll make, I'll change the first row to the first column. So it will be one, two, six. Then the second row will become the second column, eight, nine, ten. And similarly, the third row will become the third column. Now I'll give an other example here for this same concept. For example, I have a matrix D, which is 3, 1, 0, 2, 15, 13. Now you can see this matrix has 1, 2, 3, 3 rows and 1 and 2, 2 columns. This is my first row, second row and third row. Now I'm asked to find the transpose of this matrix. How will I do that? The first, I'll change the first row to a column, 3, 2. The second row to the second column. And then the last third row, with the I'll make it the third column. So this will be my answer. So this is how you find the transpose of a matrix. It's this simple. Now let's talk about the determinant of a matrix. A 2 by 2 matrix to be specific. The determinant of 2 by 2 matrix is very simple. What, uh, and also the determinant of any matrix is indicated by this absolute sign. Now let's see, I have here a two by two matrix, uh, two rows and two columns matrix. What I'll do, I'll cross multiply and subtract. What I mean by that, I'll multiply A with D and I'll multiply B with C and I'll subtract them and I'll get a sim single scalar value which will be my determinant. Now let's take an example to understand this concept. For example, I have a matrix 3, 5, 6 and 1. What I'll do, uh, I'm asked to find the determinant. So what I'll do, I'll cross multiply 3 into 1 minus 5 into 6. So this will be 3 minus 6 into 5, 30. So my answer would be minus 27. Similarly, I'll take another example, which will be, I have a matrix, 4, 2, 3, 6. What I'll do, cross multiply, subtract. So I'll multiply the 4 by 6, 4 into 6, minus, and then I'll multiply 3 by 2. So I'll have 24 minus 6. So my answer would be 18. So this will be the determinant of the matrix, of a 2 by 2 matrix. 
So this is how you find the transpose of a matrix and the determinant of a two by two matrix. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. And if you want the notes, let me know as well on my email. I'll mail them to you. Thank you very much.